Hello, Bill Rister with Chicago Title. We're going to continue our, our look at the Facebook timeline. And today I want to focus on just a couple of sections, the friends and the photos that you have inside uh, your timeline. First off, I'm going to click on the friends button. And it's going to pull up all 818 of my friends. So that's great. They're all right here. Uh, quickly, as I hover over each friend, I can actually adjust lists and those sorts of things. So that's kind of good to see that I have that total control. But one thing that I think people don't realize is you don't know how visible you're making your friends out there in the world of Facebook. So when I click on edit, it will tell me what the setting is for my, as soon as I click on edit, here we go. So we can see who can see the full friend list on my timeline while I've got it locked down by a custom button to specific groups, just my family and Chicago title employees are the only people who can see my entire list of friends. What I find through my workshops is a lot of people, when I click on this edit button with them, this is set to public. And when that is set to public, that means all 850 million people on Facebook can see every single one of your friends without being your friend. So at the very uh, least, you need to have this set to friends. I think custom is a way to go if you're concerned about who can see your list of friends. So just understand by clicking edit, we can totally control who can see our friend list. So get that set to friends as soon as you can. Now the second thing I want to show you is your photos. This is always a question at every workshop. Um, who can see my photos? How do I control the photos? Quickly, cover photos, if they're uh, used as cover photos or public by design, that's just the way they're set up. But um, let's look at an album. I've got an album here, uh, say some family pictures. And when I click on this, it pulls up all the different photos of uh, me and Cindy and Kev. And I can go into each individual picture, let's say this picture from an ASU game where they were trying to tear down the goalposts, and I can control who can see that. So I, once again, we have this uh, ability to come in and edit the privacy inside that album. And so I can decide either it's custom, friends, any of these different options as soon as it loads. There we go. So I can totally control that album, who can see what. I have this total control. So I want to make sure that you're aware of that inside each album you can control who can see each picture so that's very important let's go back out and let's look at some of the other things you can do with photos when you're playing inside your facebook timeline uh, we're still inside that album so we'll come back out these are pictures i've loaded via my phone and these are a little different each one of these pictures i can control now there's a default setting that allows you to set where it goes but once it's loaded i can still come in here and control who gets to see it so we still, every single picture as you're looking at it, you can decide that this should be public, friends only, or go in and customize it and just allow certain lists to see it and maybe restrict other lists from seeing it or certain people from a list. So you have, once again, I keep using this phrase a lot, but it's total control over who can see what. And this is very important stuff, especially if you're using Facebook as it's intended to build relationships and you've got clients and you've got friends and personal, personal people on there, you need to be able to control who can see what. So that's the uh, quick tip for the timeline on how to use the, the settings inside your friends and your photos to control those privacy settings. Got any questions, drop us a note at billrister at gmail.com or you can leave a comment below. Otherwise, go out and make it a great day and we'll, we'll be back tomorrow with some more tips on the new timeline. Thanks. Bye.